BBC Katia Adler brilliantly brought down the fake unity of the EU. Von der Leyen threatened members who wanted to leave the bloc. The placement of Russian troops near the Ukrainian border raises important geopolitical questions. According to the BBC's Europe editor, these have exposed the fake unity of the EU. The only unity of the EU is probably that they both hate the UK and Brexit because we've pulled out and backed the bloc's money. Macron is more concerned with venting anger, and Germany has become Putin's unconditional servant. Ms Adler said concern about international trouble had caused squabbling allies to become even more conflicted. President Macron infamously dismissed NATO as a brain-dead man not long ago. He is the biggest EU advocate of what he calls Europe's strategic autonomy. Ever since President Donald Trump, EU-US relations have been strained because of NATO funding of defence and more. EU-UK relations have been strained since Brexit. And EU member states are constantly arguing with each other about everything. Ms Adler said foreign policy is one of the frequently controversial topics. Due to divisions within the bloc, the European Commission is currently being forced to engage in sustainable internal diplomacy. This resembles tactics deployed while Brexit negotiations are underway to dissuade it. Other countries want to leave the bloc. Private intelligence firm Dragonfly reported late last month that efforts to prevent Moscow from invading Ukraine appears to have failed. This, largely because threatened sanctions, according to the BBC, unclearly from the EU, have had little impact with Russia already protected by sanctions on its economy. Me. This means that the EU is afraid of being cut off from gas when it is completely dependent on Putin. During recent diplomatic negotiations, Russia said it had no plans to invade Russia. Even so, Ms Adler said it would be helpful if Germany had a clearer line on its position in relation to the Kremlin. A public united front to present to President Putin is clearly the most important thing on the EU's mind, she said. But for the EU, gas is more important than Ukraine's safety. If EU countries are not willing to support their weaker members, what is the point of staying in the bloc? Since the UK left the EU, the whole bloc seems to have fallen into an uncomfortable disunity. Great Britain did not protect them anymore from Germany and France. These two countries are willing to sell members in return for their benefits.